Play on the full field. We're going to play 11 versus 10. So one half, one team is going to be a man up. The other half, the other team is going to be a man. So one player. I'm really excited about this year. We got to go back to my uh, home state for preseason. I'm super stoked about that. Hopefully we can get some fans out there. And um, I'm just stoked this year. We got a good chance. A good chance in the GNAC and a good chance to make the tournament. Um, last year we were right on the cusp of making that national tournament. I think we were going in to the last game, maybe ranked sixth in the West. So uh, this year it means a lot for us to climb those ladders and kind of get higher up, build on some wins instead of keeping going back and forth like that. Uh, we, are, we are used to have a, a bunch of different nationalities because it was the same way last year and two years ago, I mean, as long as I, I was here. So. The chemistry is perfect. Uh, everyone, everyone get uh, get along. Um, we had, uh, I mean, couple uh, couple good good jokes uh, during pre preseason uh, uh, team dinner as well. So I mean, everything is looking good for the season. So I'm very excited. I think that with the players that we've brought in defensively, Samuel, Pascal, Hussein, Liam, Brian. Those are all players that got a lot of minutes this preseason and we're looking much more solid than, than, than last year. Offensively, again, we will create chances, we know that, and I'm very happy with the players that have come in uh, to help us on the offensive side of the field. In terms of experience, with Ludwig coming in, who, uh, who's been a quality goalkeeper at our level for the last three years at University of Mary, um, but also the other players down the, the axis of the field, they know what it takes to get the job done. It's looking great. Honestly, the freshmen have really impressed. All the newcomers have really impressed. And it's nice to have a roster that you can throw in any guy and they're going to pick up where the, where the last guy left off. So it's, it's great. It's a great looking team. And I think that obviously Guillaume Kermer is, is a player that, that emphasizes or that epitomizes all of that. But we also have good leadership on the flanks. Luca Battistotti, who's maneuvering himself uh, into a position to be captain, has been working extremely hard uh, since the end of last season, really, to be fit, to be ready, and to have a great season. So those guys are going to be carrying the team. They know what it's about, and um, their experience is absolutely going to be vital for us. It was an exciting summer for you, your your home nation, France, winning the World mm -hmm. Cup. Uh, yeah, the last time they won, you were you were just a, a young kid. So what, what was that like, uh, just watching that unfold? That was, that was amazing. Uh, yeah, that's... That, I don't have the words to describe it because, yeah, like you said, I was two years old the, f the first time we won the, the World Cup, so I don't, I, don't, I don't remember it, but this year was, was amazing. I got to watch the final uh, back home with my family and friends, and that's just, that just amazing to, to win that. Like, we know that for four years now uh, we are on top of the world, and that's, that's amazing. I always, I always watch the games and uh, analyze them, and then it's always uh, an inspiration to watch these players. Uh, for my part in the midfield, like Angolo Kante or, or Paul Pogba, they are, they are really good players and I always try to, to watch them and to learn from them. Well, one of the things that we have to change compared to last season, the 2017 season, the 2016 season, is the way that we defend. We've made some, some changes there. Uh, we, need to, we need to fine tune a couple of things because offensively, we're good, we know that we are going to score goals, we are going to create chances, but defensively I think we've got some work to do and we've spent a lot of time on that this, this offseason or this preseason. I'm very happy with how we started the season, pre-preseason definitely helped us go into preseason in a positive way, a lot of new players, 13 new faces, that allowed them to hit the ground running, uh, to start gelling before, before the, the soccer coaches got uh, or became part of the equation. We're very fortunate that we have a quality strength and conditioning coach in Jeff Willardson who was willing to work with him twice a day, so that was a big bonus for us. But once, um, once soccer training started, I think the guys have been working very, very hard. Everybody was eligible, which was, which was a big bonus, a big plus. Um, they were very fit, which means that they did their homework uh, throughout the summer. And I think that the, the quality in training also was very, very high. We have been training a lot. You can see some, some more tired legs right now, but now we've got a few days to recover before we, before we go to California and kick our season off with our game against Cal Poly Pomona, which is obviously not going to be easy because we're talking about a Final Four team here. But we've got some information on them, and I think that we are going to have a game plan that's going to help us uh, get a positive result. We're also going to have to start thinking about the games afterwards against Cal State San Bernardino, Cal State San Marcos, who are going to be quality opponents as well. So we're going to be tested immediately as the season starts uh, in, in the LA area, and it's not going to get any easier after that with Sonoma State coming to Billings 
uh, Colorado Christian and then us uh, traveling to Bismarck to play to, to, to finish our non-conference slate against University of Marion Oklahoma Baptist so very very challenging probably one of the top five uh, schedules in Division Two, but we know what our goals are for this season, and if we want to achieve those, then I think we have to play that ball the opposition. Uh, I think we kind of picked those games because they're really big, well-known teams that if you can get wins against to start the season, that puts you in a great position to start a league and a great position to compare yourself against the rest of the nation. Uh, so when we can get a win, we're always happy. Then we focus on, uh, on Friday's game uh, against Pomona, which is going to be a huge one, but I feel that we are ready.